Okay, so this video is going to cover one color printing. So this is the simplest form of printing uh, where you are applying one color to the block. And then there'll be another video on two color printing uh, posted later. So supplies you'll need for this part are the block. You'll need one of these metal trays called a bench hook. You'll need a roller palette knife, the ink you're going to use, and then some printing paper from this box uh, that's labeled small for small printing paper. All right, so I'm going to start with the ink and quantity of ink. So to do one print, you really don't need a lot of ink. Uh, this is maybe about the size of a nickel or a quarter. And so you spread that out on your uh, on your bench hook. Take your roller and distribute the ink. Now it looks like I didn't quite take enough ink. I can see that there's still some spots on the roller where uh, there's not quite enough coverage. So I'm going to grab some more ink here and put that on. Okay. Now it looks like I actually have too much ink. Um, it's um, there's it's just very gloppy and I'm seeing streaks in the ink. And if I see streaks that means there's too much. And so just take your palette knife. If you have too much ink, just remove some from the tray. And you can just move it off to the side, out of the way. All right, so let's try again. All right, there we go. So that's, that's the right quantity of ink. And I know because it makes that uh, tacky sound and also I can see little peaks and valleys in the ink so um, it has a texture and it and it's sparkly uh, instead of being streaky uh, streaks mean there's too much and um, if you don't see if it's very flat looking you don't see kind of those little sparkly peaks and valleys and you don't have enough so you take your uh, your roller and now you're gonna apply the ink to the block you can recharge the roller if you need to Add more ink. All right, and you're looking for that same kind of sp sparkly, glossy look uh, on the block uh, here. So you're trying to recreate, basically, you're trying to recreate the look of the ink on the bench hook onto the block. And so if you match it up and it looks about the same in terms of the amount, then you have the right amount of ink. Okay, now for printing, take your printing paper and you just lay it down on top of the block like that. Smooth it once to get it to stick. The ink will act like a glue. And then with your thumb or the heel of your hand, just apply some pressure, about medium pressure. Push until you can see all the areas of the block kind of through the paper. You should be able to kind of see um, the ink, uh, the inked areas through the paper. Right, you can peel up a corner and you can check to see how you did. So that you get kind of a sneak preview if you do that. All right, some of the corners are sometimes a little dodgy and need a little bit of extra pressure. Let's try that. So now you're gonna pull the whoop, pull the print away from the block. And if you did it right with the right amount of ink and the right amount of pressure, you should get a pretty good result. And now um, I can add more ink to my bench hook and I can print this again, or I can stop and uh, clean up and change colors or try a two color print. Um, and so I would now wash off the block 
wash off the palette knife and the roller and the bench hook all in the sink and return them so that someone else can use them.